wp-get web dev tutorials for all user levels. So this tutorial is going to show you a common problem with elemental forms uh, that I see all the time and there is just no way, there's no settings in Elemental to resolve this. And that is when you have a form open and you just start typing, there's no way to have the first import selected. If I close this pop-up here, open the pop-up, start typing, it's not on the first input, which is the name. I've got to click in there to edit it. And what we want to have is this to be automatically focused. Um, if we look at the elemental forms, look at our first name field. There's nothing in here to tell it to focus. There's nothing here in the advanced tell it to focus. There's nothing in the uh, options to tell it to focus. Style. Advanced. There is nothing that has been considered by Elementor for allowing us to focus that first input. So that's the problem I wanted to solve. And it doesn't matter whether it's in a pop-up or it's just a form straight up on the page. Uh, we want to be able to focus that first input. So my solution to that is twofold. The first thing we go through and look at the function that I use to focus. So I'm using WP Codebox here. So I created a new uh, JavaScript um, snippet here called form focus first. Uh, I'm basically doesn't matter if it's minified or not, but I'm telling it it's got to be in the header. I'll explain that a little bit later. So you can change the location to header or footer. Uh, and I only want this to run on the front end. You can set custom if you only want to run on certain pages, but I only want this to be on certain, oh, sorry, I want this to be on all the front end pages uh, so I can use it if I want. It's only a small snippet anyway. Um, this is WB Codebox. You use whatever you use for uh, keeping your JavaScripts and CSS and whatnot uh, in the one place. So let's have a look at the actual code. Uh, the first thing I use is always start with uh, my standard uh, JavaScript closure. So a closure is from this open bracket to that close bracket, uh, and that's an, that's a closure. And then we can pass these properties in. Uh, as if it's a normal function. So an anonymous ES6 function here where I'm passing in D and W uh, to a function. And so document becomes D, window becomes W. So I can just use D or W inside that if I wanted to. So that's my standard closure and anonymous function that I use. Uh, so I'll get rid of that there, it's just for demo. So what I'm doing is creating a function, an ES6 function called focus first input, where I expect a property of an ID. Um, I then delay my focus by 500 milliseconds. The reason I'm doing that is that I notice that there's a, the uh, pop-ups get added to the DOM uh, each time it opens. And sometimes there's a little bit of delay in that. And if we try and focus on an input uh, before it's added to the DOM, uh, it'll fail. So I'm just using a half second delay just to account for that. So it doesn't matter whether it's a pop-up or not, it'll still work. So we're using our D, which is the document, to get the element by the ID that we passed in. Uh, if the element exists, um, so it's been added to the DOM and exists, the ID is correct. We're going to look for the, uh, call a, uh, so we're going to create a constant for the first input. We're going to use a query selector on that element. We look for the first input that is not type hidden. So we don't want any hidden inputs. We just want a visible input. Um, so the first one that's on that form. And once we've got that, we're going to tell that first input to focus. This is a standard uh, input um, method in JavaScript. So that's pretty much as simple as that. So, uh, so get the element by ID, which will be the form. If the form exists, get the first input for that form, and then focus that first input. Uh, and that's pretty much that. Now, what we also do down here is, with all of my code that I create as global, I create a standard window object. Um, so if I haven't already created it in one of my other pieces of code, so if window.underscorewbg doesn't exist, then window.wbg equals an empty object. So create an empty object if it doesn't already exist. Now what we want to do is put on window.wpg. We want to add a method called focus first input. 
we're going to expose this focus first input method up here. So that's pretty much what I do. So I do that for every bit of code that I want to uh, make global so I can use it anywhere. And I always put it on the same object and then just initialize the object if it's already, uh, sorry, if it's not already defined. So that's our JavaScript. That's pretty straightforward, right? So heading over to the form. All we have to do on the form is give the form an ID. So I've called this one test form. So test uh, dash form, and then we just add an HTML widget. And in that widget, we add window dot underscore WPG dot focus first input. And we want to pass in the ID of this form, which is test form. So heading back to here, that's going to pass in from the window dot WPG. It'll call this method, pass in the test form, uh, after a 500 millisecond timeout, get the element as the test form, if it exists, find the first input on that form that is not hidden, and tell it to focus. That's pretty much that. So I'm just going to update this uh, code here. Now, before I move on, I mentioned over here that in the settings, I told it to load the script in the header. Uh, the reason I've done that is because where the script runs here, it's partway through the document. So if we don't have the script already available in the header, we have to um, uh, wait for a event to run before we can actually use it. So this, by putting it in the header, we know that this exists before we call it. And by the way, with the pop-ups, um, it runs every time a pop-up is open. So uh, Elementor removes the pop-up from the DOM, and then when it opens, it adds it to the DOM and any JavaScripts that are on that pop-up will run. So this is saying, focus my first input for test form. I'm gonna save that. Let's have a look and see if it actually worked. If I just do control F5, open pop-up and my first input's focused. Close it, open pop-up and my first input is focused. So I can just start typing. So that's how I deal with selecting the first input uh, on either a pop-up or a page form. Um, using JavaScript. Um, I'll make this code available uh, in a link. Um, how you include it, whether you use WP Go Box or Code Snippets or um, the Elementor's uh, custom code is entirely up to you. Uh, it's the same code. Uh, you just decide how you're going to manage that. So I hope that's uh, useful for you.